The Battle of Brandywine was fought on September 11th, 1777. It was the largest single-day battle of the American Revolution. Along the quiet banks of the Brandywine Creek, General George Washington's Continental Army attempted to halt the British invasion under General William Howe. As Howe marched his army from Maryland toward the colonial capital of Philadelphia. Although the battle ended with the British occupying the field, Washington's army remained intact. And though Howe eventually managed to capture Philadelphia, Washington continued to fight on to eventual victory four years later at Yorktown. In order to understand the British war strategy in 1777, we need to go back to the beginning of the war two years earlier. Following the battles of Lexington and Concord, while the British continued their occupation of Boston, the Continental Army launched its first major military operation against Quebec. Unfortunately, the invasion failed, and the Continental Army was driven back in a blinding snowstorm by the Canadian militia, dashing any hopes of Quebec becoming the 14th colony. In 1776, the year before the Battle of Brandywine, after an almost year-long siege, General Washington and his army managed to successfully drive the British out of Boston. But the British, now under General Howe, moved south. And after the Battle of Long Island, they managed to occupy New York City. So this is the situation in the spring of 1777. The British control Quebec and New York City, while Boston and Philadelphia remain in colonial hands. In order to capitalize on their recent victories, the British plan in the spring of 1777 was to send a force under General John Burgoyne south from Canada to Albany, New York. Meanwhile, General Howe was expected to march north from New York City to rendezvous with Burgoyne. The hope was that this maneuver would put Britain in control of the Hudson River Valley, cut New England off from the rest of the colonies, and destroy the American dream of independence. General Howe's cooperation was vital to the success of this plan. But British officials in London failed to provide direct orders to Howe. So, Howe was allowed to pursue his own agenda, which focused on capturing the colonial capital of Philadelphia. The land route, however, was blocked by Washington's army, who controlled most of New Jersey. The direct river route up the Delaware River was reportedly obstructed by underwater iron-tipped logs intended to pierce the hulls of any approaching ships. This left one remaining route to Philadelphia from the head of the Chesapeake Bay. So the British with a fleet of over 250 ships led by General Howe's brother Admiral Richard Howe left in late July for the month-long journey. The land route from the Chesapeake to Philadelphia would take Howe through Maryland, Delaware, and the peaceful Quaker farms of Pennsylvania's Brandywine Valley. To stop this advance, General Washington left New Jersey and marched his army through Philadelphia on August 24th, on his way to meet Howe and the British army that threatened the capital. <laughs> 